Hey guys, it's Boy here, and this is a guide on the added up changes in this patch as well as the last few ones. Towers now have two less armor, but they get one extra armor per hero close to it. This means that compared to 702, the tier 1 towers have six less armor when no one is there, and three less armor if you're pushing one by your own. This means that carries and mid heroes have a slightly easier time getting early towers than they did before. Tier 1s have 14 armor right now, and in 702 they had 20. When you push a tower by your own, they have 17 armor, and this means that you're going to take that tower 10% faster. When you compare an early 5-man push, after let's say an Aegis, we also have a pretty decent change. A tier 3 has 16 armor now, but if you push with 5 of your heroes, the armor value goes to 31. The difference in damage dealt to the tower is almost 50%. A 5-man push is ridiculously harder to pull off than it was before. That's not counting all the mechanics that were added kinda favoring late game. Reduced AoE experience, melee creeps giving more gold as time went on, and many other changes. The AoE in this armor was even increased to 1400, meaning that it's pretty hard to avoid that extra armor by just standing further away from the tower while your core pushes. Shrines got another nerf in the HP region, so when you compare them to 702, they are 30% weaker when we're talking about HP region. There was a small buff to intelligence heroes, not only in the 6.6% .6 increase in spell damage, since you get more of the increase with more intelligence than it was before. Uh, a lot of small changes to intelligence heroes like Zeus uh, were added, so you should check them out. They weren't very huge, but I feel like uh, this is going to take the meta in a different direction. With all these changes, maybe we start seeing more intelligence cores back into the meta. We also saw a 9% reduced experience to go from level 20 to level 25. A pretty decent buff to heroes that have strong level 25 talents. It's also a change made to balance the Midas change. The item is more about gold and less about experience than it was before. But I would say that the item is definitely nerfed and we're probably going to see it a little bit less than we used to. It gives 45% less experience than before and 16% more gold. This is a big nerf to heroes like Offlane Enigma and Invoker that depend a lot on the item to ramp up their farm but most importantly experience, and it heavily outweighs the reduced experience to get from level 20 to level 25. But to be honest, uh, I feel like games are going to start uh, lasting a little bit longer. I mean, I'm not sure, this is only a guess, but maybe this actually dilutes the nerf to Midas a little bit. I, I don't know, we have to see. Some relevant item changes, Quelling Blade no longer stacks with Iron Talon, this started to be abused and it was fixed. Tanks Waga, uh, Power Treads, it, the item is back to its older form, nothing crazy, just a small buff to heroes that like to go Treads. Tranquil Boots. I feel like this this is a pretty big nerf to strength heroes that build the item, like Center, Earth Spirit, Slarder, Pudge, Axe, and Sand King. They have big HP pools and the extra armor really help them in early engagements. The item is more about move speed and HP region, so maybe we're going to keep seeing heroes like Pudge and Sand King that benefit more from the move speed more than heroes like Slarder and Center that just want I mean, I'm not sure if there's any item that Slarders and Centaurs can go for. Sometimes we see Slarders going for Naked Boots and Russian Blink Dagger later, so I'm not sure if we're going to start seeing more of that, or if Tranquil is still going to be core. Uh, it's just gonna be a little bit harder for these heroes since they're not going to have that little, that extra edge of armor. It's also an easier build up for supports because of Windlace. A lot of supports uh, get the item, and it feels like with the buffs to drums, we're actually going to see Windlace being very relevant because he is a key component of both drums and tranquil boots. So you kind of, I mean, as a support, you can choose to go either way. I feel like tranquils is a little bit cheaper, so we're probably going to see a little bit. Uh, so we're probably going to see more of that. But with drums giving mana region, you never know. Orb of Venom. Uh, this is a slight nerf to roaming heroes in general, as you're going to see with the patch notes. Most of the big roamers, our spirit and monkey king, got nerfed, so uh, this might feel very minor, but when you add up everything, uh, it feels like a pretty decent nerf. As of now, pretty much every game has a roamer. Earth Spirit, Monkey King, Ricky, Bounty Hunter, Ogre, Slaughter, they almost always go for the item, and since most of those heroes are highly mobile, the slow duration allowed them to keep chasing heroes very easily in the early game. The DPS was changed to compensate these low durations lightly, but this was definitely a nerf. It's not like the item is over, because it's not, but I feel like roaming was becoming the way to go for every game and this can tune things down a little bit. 
relevant hero changes. Alchemist is weaker in the lane stage now, since the radius from Acid Spray increases with levels. At level 1, it's way easier to find good spots to less hit and harass the Elk, since before pretty much every hero, even ranged heroes, suffered when they tried to go on him. The cooldown on Chemical Rage is also pretty big now, uh, it was a 20% increase, and the downtime is also bigger. So you need to think twice before using the ult to farm, since you're more likely to die without it, especially in the early levels. Uh, when you're not going to have a lot of items. Brewmaster. The Brewlings got nerfed because of Wings after their performance against DC. You can't give Alacrity to Pandas and abuse the 300% damage in structures anymore because it's now fixed damage. The attack speed from Alacrity helps, but it's definitely not as scary as it once was. The nerf was probably necessary now that you're less inclined to push as 5, meaning that this could become a top tier strat out of nowhere again. There was also a slightly attack speed increase on Earth Panda because of the BAT decrease, so that's also kind of good. Bristol Bag. He didn't have a lot of big changes in this patch, only the radius of the cool sprays, but he has received tons of buffs in 700, and maybe we start seeing him more with the cost increase of Silver Edge and overall meta changes and experimentation that comes with it. It's been a long time since Ice Frog tried to make Doom less dependent on his ult and an overall more balanced hero. Even though this was the main force behind buffing his second skill, removing level death and all that, the changes on this patch seems to make Doom stronger but doesn't change his main problems. He is very reliant on his ult. Maybe with the DPS increase we start to see Doom being actually deadly instead of only a get away from the fight for 15 seconds, but I'm not sure if this is enough to make pros start experiment more with him, especially because the Doom DPS talent is now at the same tier that the Ancient Devourer talent, meaning you have to choose between them. I like that it's easier to get the Devourer talent now because it seemed a little bit underwhelming at level 25, but only time will tell how relevant this really is. Earth Spirit. With the changes on Arbor Venom as well as his Rolling Boulder nerf, we're going to see the hero having a harder time to execute his kills in the early game and perform at the highest level, especially because the nerf was almost 50% of the slow at level 1. Uh, it's the same in the, in the last level, but 50% is pretty big. Lich. With experience being harder to get in the early stages, roaming being nerfed and sacrifice being buffed, you can see how big the chain frost change can be. For a long time a lot of people asked for a projectile speed increase to chain frost, and while this is not as good, I feel like this can finally make Lich viable again, so probably one of the biggest buffs in my opinion. Lina. This is a nerf to the hero, but not as big as some people might feel like. It makes her stronger if you play her correctly in the early levels, and you can even get the LSA damage on top of the minus respawn later, which was impossible. That combined with roaming being nerfed can propel Lina even further, since she feels less threatened in the early levels, at least in my opinion. I feel like this is more of a power curve change rather than a straight up nerf, but only time will tell to be honest. Magnus. I don't feel like this is a ridiculously strong nerf. Uh, the mana increase at higher levels kind of discourages the right click build since it feels like arcanes are very needed now. On top of that, the extra empowered damage talent got nerfed. Uh, the hero is still strong and maybe we start seeing him being played instead of insta banned pretty much every game. Monkey King. Monkey's early game got nerfed hard, which is expected, the hero seemed way stronger than it should be. Pretty much every change is early game focused, uh, you have Arbor Venom and all the primal spring changes. Cooldown and mana cost got increased, as well as low percentage decreased. The biggest mid to late game nerf is Boundless Strike, a 25% decrease in duration, I feel like this is actually pretty big, since the skill is pretty much a better fissure that you can cast from pretty much anywhere you want. Nature's Prophet. He only got 6 base damage, uh, I mean, this is good in a hero like Nature's Prophet, but with this new trend of favoring less heroes pushing lanes, the meta can actually favor the hero way more than this solo buff might make you believe. Triant Protector. The hero had one of the biggest pub win rates until now. Towers are harder to be taken down, this hero can heal towers. So I don't want to make bold assumptions, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of this in Captain's mode. At least in Kiev. Not everyone likes the hero, and he was nerfed with his ult, Lich Siege, as well as his roaming aspect. As the meta progresses though, and more people start understanding understanding what's good, maybe the hero gets picked more often, I mean Abaddon was top win rate for a long long time until players actually started picking him up, and maybe we start seeing this a little bit more. Well this wraps up for today, if you enjoyed this video please guys give it a thumbs up, Pugna is a platform where you can learn from people like Chessy, Fog, Munib and get better at the game, they have now great content on the new patch, and if you want to raise your MMR this is a great time, just figure out the patch faster than others and get those easy wins.